15 has written into us because of a brutal family feud. But are they really the family from hell? Or has it just been a terrible misunderstanding? Let's hear what John has to say. Dear Kerami, I've never really had a good relationship with my mum. You know, I've never had that mother-daughter bond. When I was five, I was taken away from my mum and ended up living with my grandparents. A few years later, my nan passed away, and since then, it's just been me and my granddad. My mum would call in now and again, but she was more like a family friend than a mum. I feel like I've missed out on so much, and I want my family back. Carry me, can you help us? Let's get Janet out on the show. Janet, what have you understand that you'd, you've had a very bad childhood. Can you elaborate on how bad it really was? Well, when I was about five, I was abandoned by my mum and we just never had that mother-daughter bond. That must have been bad. How bad was it? Thanks. Well, there was always a different boyfriend in the house when I was there and she always had more time for them than for me. We were just never close. Tell the camera, <clears throat> I mean, the audience, how did that make you feel? It made me feel so bad. I didn't want to get up in the morning. I had no confidence. It ruined your self-esteem, didn't it? You felt lost in life. Alone. Yeah. And the bullying didn't help either. Bullying? Tell me more about that. Yeah. Well, well, after feeling abandoned and neglected by my mother, I went to live with my grandparents. And although they loved me, we didn't have much money. And it got worse after my nan died and well, I used to get picked on by all the other kids because I couldn't afford the latest shoes and clothes and all that. You love your granddad, don't you? Yeah. In fact, you told our producers that he is the one constant in your life. So let's get your granddad out on the show. Jeffrey, everybody. <laughs> How was Janet's mother growing up? Oh, it was awful. Bringing up our shares was one big battle. Shares is, is Janet's mother? Yeah. Yeah, but since the age of 14, she's just been off the rails. No, drugs, boys, we, we tried everything to keep her grounded. Everything? Can you really say you tried everything? I, I did. Uh... Well, I've got five kids, three of them are girls, and they've never gone off the rails. Oh, see, ask anyone. Well, I'm asking you. Don't tell me you've done everything. I've had my daughters followed. I've had their phones tapped. I've done everything that a responsible parent would do. Oh, she carry me. Oh, I spit down. <laughs> Did you just spit on my stage? People like you make me sick. I've told the truth. Liar! Interesting response backstage from Cheryl. Your mother and your daughter. Go and see what she has to say. Get out of me face. Get out of me face. Get out of my face. Get out. Out. We need to talk. You have just shouted liar across my stage. Explain yourself. Well, he is. He's a liar. You're a liar, Dad. In what way? Are we actual innocent? Mm -hmm. oh, who do you actually think give me the booze? Well, so you're accusing your father, a good man, of giving you alcohol? Yeah, him and me mum. Neither of you want me. You haven't exactly been a great mother yourself, have you? No, hang on a minute. No, no, we, no, do not 
bring my parenting skills into this. Parenting skills? What parenting skills? Well, it's been hard for me, you know, trying to keep my boyfriends. Boyfriends. Excuse me? Do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. Oh, good, good. Then I have to walk after it. You should have put your child first. People like you make me sick. And one minute. <sighs> what are you doing? Point the camera at me. We're gonna cut to a commercial break right now. Something playing on your mind? Need questions answered and don't know where to go? Need to know who's the father of your child? Well, a and DNA has a service for you. We are the world's leading DNA testing service, as seen on the Karami Bal Show. With a one in four accuracy rate, you're almost guaranteed to know who's the daddy. We are professional and affordable. Recommend a friend and get a 25% discount. Now, take advantage of our results by text service, where you can know within 48 hours. a and DNA service, we tell you who's the daddy. Okay. 
be over there if you need me, okay? Okay. <laughs> Is it true? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Why did you start doing these things? I, th I don't know, I, I really, I don't know. Okay, when did you start doing these things? <laughs> well, well, it started when I was about 11. Hmm. I got these new mates on. They didn't skip me for not having the latest trainees or the best phone or whatever. They just stuck by me and and um well first it was just knock and run, but then it got into more serious things like breaking people's windows. You must have known that that was wrong. Yeah, yeah, I I did know it was wrong. Of course, I knew it was wrong. So why did you carry on? Well, the other kids, the, they were like a family to me and like, I didn't have much of one at home and then like, I loved my granddad, I love my granddad loads, but he's, he's a bit of a drinker and he's always down the pubs and I just need someone to be around and... It's okay, we're gonna get this sorted. <laughs> You two make me sick. You need to be the adult in this and get it sorted. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get a good day. I'm for me and my baby. Boy, for you and your fella. Shut that, don't start, you know, not on trouble. Well, it needs to be, it needs to be said. Shacked up with that thug. Ooh. Wait, are you telling me that there's violence in this Ooh. relationship? It, it's really not violence, is it? Shh. Get him done. What's his name? Stan. Stan. What do you have to say about this? Well, half the time it's a fault in it, Keza. She comes back half drunk and, and I And so just... what? You hit her. People like you make me sick. You don't get it, Keza. She's a drunken old hag. Oh my oh! God! And get off the booze! Off it? And you, you little cretin. Cretin? <laughs> We're gonna start showing some respect, not just to your family, but most importantly, to me. To him? To me. To him? To get him? off my stage. Oh, in a bit. Johnny! I'm getting some better day! Well, that was quite a show. Next week, We've got two brothers that have been at war for 10 years and a father and son that haven't spoke to each other in two months. And remember, people like you make me sick. <laughs>